Hey guys, Deja Fit Beauty here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys some really good stretches for your lower body. I know that usually when you just start working out or if you did a really, really hard workout the next day or maybe two days later, your muscles are on fire. These stretches will help you alleviate some of that pain and discomfort. So the first stretch, uh, so I do this little hip twist thing just to kind of get my hips uh, a little bit warmed up, but you can do that as a stretch as well. But the first stretch is going to be a hamstring stretch. So you're going to spread your legs about uh, a little wider than shoulder width, actually a lot wider than shoulder width apart. You're going to reach down and try to put your nose to your knee. So while you're doing this, you want to make sure that your knees are straight. If your knees are bent a little bit, that means that you're not getting the full stretch. So if you can't go all the way down to your nose, I mean to your knee, that's fine. But just make sure that your legs are straight and you're trying, like you want the motion to be as if you're trying to put your nose to your knee. And you want to hold all of these stretches for at least 30 seconds. The video was kind of sped up for the purposes of the video. But when you're doing these stretches, you want to hold the stretch for 30 seconds to a minute each. All right, the second exercise is also going to stretch out the hamstrings. So you're going to sit on your butt. You're going to split your legs and you're going to put one leg behind you like so. You want to make sure your hips are open. And then you're going to try to put your nose to your knee as well. So for this exercise, if you are tight, you'll have a tendency like your knee will come off the floor. So you want your knee to be flat on the floor. So if you can't go all the way down without your knee coming up, just go as low as you can, but just make sure that your knee is flat, okay? And you're gonna put your hands around your feet like so. So for the third exercise, you're gonna transition from that stretch, and all you're gonna do is you're gonna lean back. So you wanna make sure your hips are open, and you're gonna lean back, and, and you're gonna reach to the side like this. This is actually going to stretch your quads, okay? If you are really tight, you might not be able to lean all the way back. Just lean back as far as you can. If you're really flexible, you can actually put your head all the way back, okay? Now, I don't suggest this if you are a beginner and you're really tight because you can hurt yourself. But this is a really good stretch for your quads. Now, I'm just showing you um, on the other leg. Like I said, you wanna make sure that your knees are flat on the ground and you wanna make sure your hips are open and you wanna try to put your nose to your knee. And then this, you're just gonna literally just lean back and you'll feel this stretch in your quads. Okay, so this stretch is really good if you have really, really tight glutes. It's called the piriformis stretch. So you're gonna put one knee, you're gonna put one leg, one foot over your knee like so, and then you're gonna pull that leg into your chest. And you can put your hands behind your knee or you can grab your foot like that. I like to do it the second way, I can get a deeper stretch. So what I do is I curl up, pull my leg in, and then I lean back and I get a, a more of a deeper stretch. So for this stretch, you wanna do it for at least 30 seconds to a minute on each leg, but this is a really good stretch if you get really, really tight glutes. This stretch is really great for opening up the hip flexors, okay? Uh, most people have really tight hip flexors from sitting a lot, especially if you have a desk job, but if you don't stretch your hips, you probably have really tight hips. This will really get those hips open. Now, if you're really, really tight, this is gonna hurt and it's gonna feel very uncomfortable, but it is very necessary. So here you wanna just split your legs like so. You wanna make sure that your heel is flat on the ground when you're doing that exercise. And then after you do that stretch, you're just gonna lean back and you're gonna give me another hamstring stretch. Um, the hamstrings and the glutes are gonna be the tightest. That is why I, I do like at least three or four different hamstring stretches. So from there, I like to transition to this stretch. This is another quad stretch. This is a stretch for the more advanced. Uh, if you're not that uh, flexible, you won't be able to pull your foot up like that. But if you can, uh, this is a really good exercise to stretch your quads. Now I'm just gonna show you from the other direction. 
We're starting with that hip flexor stretch. And as you can see, my hips are open and I'm leaning into the stretch, really opening up those hips. Like I said, if you're tight, this is going to hurt. Then we are gonna transition into that hamstring stretch. Like I said, ladies, you wanna hold both, all of these stretches for at least 30 seconds to a minute each to really get a good stretch. And then from here, we're gonna transition into that quad stretch by opening up the hips and then you're gonna pick up your foot and you're gonna pull your foot into your body, stretching out those quads. So I typically do this stretch last. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna uh, part your feet about shoulder width, a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. And then you're just gonna squat down, keeping your heels on the ground. If your heels come off the ground, then that means you need to open up your legs a little bit more. But you're gonna squat down and you should feel a really good stretch in your inner thigh. And what I do is I put my elbows, um, I put my elbows on the knees to open up my knee, to, to open up my hips a little bit more. If you're really tight, this is gonna be kind of hard but it's still doable all right ladies thank you so much for watching this video i hope i helped you guys out uh, like i said these stretches are really good if you have a really hard leg day and your legs are sore and you can't sit on the toilet um so uh, um if you like this video please go ahead and like and subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next one bye guys